Aries, welcome to your energy blueprint reading here on the Astro Flower. We're going to be going into your chakras and your aura for the week going from the 6th of February through to the 12th of February. So the formation of your chakras are going to be dependent upon the environment that is around you. Uh, and just seeing the overall energies for this, what I would call funny February, um, and seeing what we've done in the masterclass according to the fusing of the solar plexus and the uh, heart chakra at the moment, there's loads going on. There's a real change in the air in February. And as I was saying, it is funny February. Let's just see uh, what's going on with your root chakra. So here we are. This is obviously we're in the in the autumn period as well for your good selves. And the physical side seems to be really tight now. That's been tight, I think, started almost last week. There's still a few bits and bobs that need to be sorted out fundamentally according to your emotions, your spiritual path, your reason d'etre for your um, sort of relationships and etc. Um, nothing like it's I don't think it's major here I don't think it's like sort of like uh, catastrophic sort of situations with your relationships at all I just think it's just a question of how we reevaluate ourselves well we'll see that in the tarot reading probably in regarding to your karmic mission really more than anything else let's just see what's going on on the sacrum now this is true to a lot of signs at the moment there seems to be a question of and I think this is what funny February is all about. All about. It seems to be harmonising and um, it's like it's recalibrating your our chakras at the moment for this uh, for the vibrations of this new paradigm that we're going into. Um, we're already in there, as far as I'm concerned. It's just a case of okay, everybody set now. It's like okay, everybody understands. Let's just go. And that's what the beginning of March seems to be all about. And to set to set ourselves, to position ourselves, everything seems to be coming into sort of harmonic uh, sort of frequencies with one another. Um, and this putting all of our chakras in a really nice place, to be honest. But within that harmony, so, uh, and this is what I was going through on and others. Let's just go through the others, but let's just see what's going on in the others first. I just want to, before, the, you know, I don't want to, put it across every single one that is real fusion now between the solar plexus and the heart and as I was talking in the master class it could have something to do with the pole shift as well the changing energies that are in the world that is around us on your heart chakra there's a lot of um, there's a sifting through the here and now and I think this is what was I was saying in the root chakra here on the uh, on your right hand side it's sifting through the here and now. So how you interact with other people, I think you're going to realise, um, you know, that some relationships of they're not they're not evolving, um, and it's no one's fault, uh, and it's not that they're anybody's a nasty person. You're not a nasty person, but it's just a case of, um, and it'd be interesting to see how the guys interact with this on the relationship side, um, uh, and also on your sort of networking side and your business sort of side in the tarot reading. Because it's probably a bit just a case of that, you know, you go to a particular cafe and because you're going to that particular cafe, you're not going to another particular cafe. So you end up not meeting the other people who are at the other cafe, if you know what I mean. So things get eliminated from your life without you even realising in a way. That's what it sort of seems like. And it's giving the heart chakra a real sense and purpose and direction, basically. Let's see what's going on the inside of that heart. So there is a few motions that are coming up from the past of you at the moment. That's going to also going to be a point that needs to be looked at upon in your in your um, tarot reading. But there is also this. It's almost like you've got a square inside a circle. So you can see the slight points coming out of the circle. I personally think the sphere is going to overtake it all. Um, but there may be just be simply because you're going through your autumn period. You're going to probably get emotions coming up to the surface of the last year and sort of that you need to have a look at, need to address. Um, and when you look at it and when you address it, then you're going to be able to decide exactly what you want in the going future. And that's going to be brilliant. Um, that's where you're going to find um, all those delicious 
plans of actions for going forward of how you take life to the next stage. Um, but it's within this sphere, that's that connection with everything that is around us. Let's just see what's going on on the third eye and the throat chakra. See, this is in harmony like the sacrum and they play in tandem with one another like the heart and the solar plexus. This is where I convince it has to do with pole shift energy. Um, and basically what's going on here is, is the harmonization between the third eye and the third chakra seems like there's a lot of logic and you'll be speaking a lot of logic. And you won't understand, you will not understand illogical stuff. And this is where it gets into funny February. Funny February, I think, is a case that things that are around us just do not stack up anymore. And I don't necessarily mean it could well be within your entourage, within your family, your friends and community, or your business, or your workplace, uh, your job, and etc. But I think it's to do with the larger picture of the human race and how we conduct ourselves. It's a lot of things may just seem completely illogical. That why are we even bothering to concentrate on these sort of things? And it will create a sort of two worlds, two different worlds. And if you're going through this conscious uh, evolution process that everyone seems to be going through, and let's have a look at that on your third, on your crown chakra. So here's your crown chakra. Let's just get in there and see. Yeah. So we've got that consciousness which we find inside the crown chakra is pushing and it's a comprehension of everything. That's what the crown chakra does. It's like the motherboard in the computer puts everything together. Um, and this goes way ahead of any sort of thinking you may have, uh, your emotions, how it all ties in together. And there seems to be like a conscious uh, understanding that this is what life is like and this is what's happening this is the new paradigm and with that understanding and that connection with everything that is around you it's going to change your interaction in energetically this therefore your chakras how they interact with the life around you and that's what the aha moment seems to be coming through the consciousness for everybody at the moment okay so um this harmony, as they play into sort of tandem with one another, on the third eye and the throat chakra, it's going to make you say what you see. And you'll be really good at this as well, Aries, because you're very, you've got that sort of logical, practical side to you that wants to get on and do things. Um, and this is the energy that's going to be coming out of uh, the following week. So... Uh, going from the 12th to the 20th. I think this is where people are going to kind of get set and ready to rock and roll. And I think you're going to enjoy this a lot, actually, this preparation, this positioning. I think it's going to make you feel a lot more at one with the world that is around you. Okay? So, um, you know, that's coming through, you know, within your meditation here, because you've got the harmonious sort of sacrum and... Uh, third eye and throat chakras because they work in sort of harmony together and they're within a harmonious space in regards to right and left and up and down as it were I think you should in meditation just uh, ignite that central point which I go into on the uh, that energy masterclass that I, you know, I put out on Sunday last week um, if you haven't seen it it will be linked at the end of this uh, this reading uh, and you know I'm gonna I'll try and put a link down in the um, in the description below. Note to self, remember, yeah. So it's connecting to that connection we have to everything that is around you. And in your meditation, you can sort of almost focalize on that and help that sort of connection uh, to everything. It could be a good. I think it would be a very beneficial point of reference within your meditations. Uh, let's just see what's going on on the on your aura so this is really advanced as well we've got the double um, layer change which I'm calling it now um, in the aura where one part of the magnetic field is taking place of two parts so each time we're losing a layer as it were and I think this is the reconfiguration to the new uh, paradigm 
and the vibrations that this new paradigm is is giving us it's um it's almost simplifying things it's going from 4g to to wi-fi that sort of scenario where things grew a lot quicker and, a, and the understanding is a lot more um logical precise and stuff like that that's why we we're going to like look at the world around us and kind of go how did we get here this is crazy you know sort of scenario um you know but we're all part of getting there so you know we all got to take our own bit of responsibility i guess so this is also sort of plays into that conscious understanding that we're going through this week and this is where within your meditation of connecting to everything and trying out these new ways of connecting to um quite literally everything that is around you like trees animals you know rivers clouds stars anything you, anything you so desire just sort of connecting to everything reconfiguring re-synchronizing your energies to the new uh, new vibrations that are coming through at the moment concentrating on that is going to help you to really position yourself going forward uh yeah but um Let's see if there's any other sort of thing going on in the aura at the moment. Not really. There might be, obviously, due to those emotions I was talking about that was coming up through the heart of the past year. There might be a few sort of uh, moments within your thinking where you, you know, um, you might be taking task to someone or some situation within your thinking rather than directly to them. And that can cause detriment to yourself. So, and it is quite small, so it could be just annoying more than anything else. And you don't suffer uh, illogical people lightly, <laughs> Aries. You're not gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to entertain that. And I think that might be the little bit that's playing on your mind. If it is, step out of the human race for a bit. Go for a walk. Take yourself out of the frame. Um, connect yourself differently to the world around you. And I think you'll find you'll realise that it actually creates a lot of benefit for you in lots of different areas. So there you go, Aries. That's been your energy blueprint reading uh, for this week. We do have the tarot reading that's coming up uh, very shortly. And during the week, uh, next week, you'll get some uh, a karmic mission sort of uh, short video just to give you a heads up if there's anything coming down the line on the karmic mission within your life regards to your relationships or your or your workspace of you know anything that you might need to sort of like keep your eye on as it were okay um so yeah your support for this channel is absolutely essential and i do thank you for your support on this channel it's been very much appreciated uh liking sharing obviously subscribing and clicking that bell and all of that but also in the links down in the description below you can buy me a cup of coffee if you so desire that would be lovely um yeah in the meantime aries don't forget life should be fun so please do enjoy <laughs>